Hello! On this video, I want to talk a little bit about Session. If you go to the Microsoft website, you're going to find an article, and this article says that HTTP is a stateless protocol. What that means is that a web server has no way to track the user. Every time a user comes and clicks on a link, the web server treats that request as if it was a new request. To solve this problem, there is what's called a session. And the session is a feature that lets you track requests coming from the same browser. So let's take a look on the code. Here I have the project from the past video. And before we start using the session, we need to enable the session on this project. So here on the startup class, on the configuration services, I'm going to add the distributed memory cache and the session. And then after that, inside the configure method, I'm going to use the session. On the startup class, this is all I need. So I'm going to the home controller and I need to include the HTTP and now finally I can start saving values on the session. So right here on page 2 method, if you recall from the past video, we got the person object from the page 1 from the index, then we sent it to the database and we got back the user ID. So now I want to save this to the session. And to do that, I'm going to set the string. And the setString method takes two parameters, a key and a value. So I'm going to give it a key name, and the key is going to be UID, and the value UID. And notice that it wants a string, so I'm going to put two string here. And this is how you write to the session. And then later, if you want to read from the session, you go the other way around. So I'm going to declare a string equals HTTP context session dot get string. And the string needs the key. And the key is UID. And exactly the same key that we use to save, we use to read. So this reads from the session. So that's all for this video. On the next video, I want to show you one case that you're going to need to read from the session. So thanks for watching. This is easy and you can do it.